Rhode Island U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse says Supreme Court reform has also been a priority for him. That's right. NBC 10's Gabrielle Crocciolo spoke with him today to get his take, and she joins us live here in studio. Gabrielle? Well, the president's plan outlines three key areas for Supreme Court reform, and it aligns with changes that Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse has been pushing for for years. I've been working on... Supreme Court reform efforts for quite a long time. Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse leads the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee on Federal Courts. For years, he's been pushing for reforms to the nation's highest court. We're making a lot of progress. Now, President Joe Biden is aligning himself with those goals. He's calling for changes to three areas, adding 18-year term limits, an enforceable code of conduct, and a constitutional amendment limiting presidential immunity. The court is in need of reform because it is no longer implementing the law fairly, is no longer reading the Constitution honestly. It is instead doing the bidding of a small group of right-wing billionaires and their whole array of front groups that have spent over a decade uh, working on capturing the court and turning it into a tool of the far right. The president has only introduced the policy goals, not endorsing any specific bills yet. But White House remains confident in the ones he's proposed. We are aligned. Still, with a Republican majority in the House of Representatives, the changes are unlikely to be approved in the next few months. If we win the House, then they can go forward. Vice President Kamala Harris, who's now the presumptive Democratic nominee, says she supports these changes, saying there's a crisis in confidence in the Supreme Court. In studio, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.